these last two. So it's been a couple weeks, maybe a month, something like that. My hair is insane. Um, since we last talked, um, school has started. We are getting on week, this is week three. And it's, it's bad. Um, we have our first exam later this week. If I was stressed out and you heard me talking in previous videos about last semester, holy crap, this semester's bad. Like, bad, bad. <laughs> um, the difference between this semester and last semester is like night and day. Um, and I don't know why. I think they should transition a little bit differently, but they don't. It's like, <sighs> compared to last semester, you, you knew, like, everything that was expected of you. You knew, you know, the instructor would put things on online beforehand so you could print them off. And her notes went by the book, but she, like, expanded a lot on things. So you just, like, filled it in. And I always studied off my PowerPoints for her class last semester. This semester, we have an exam Wednesday. I have a quiz due t today that I have to do. Um, and she has three chapters to go over still tomorrow for the test Wednesday. Um, when she does quizzes, or not quizzes, my brain's not even in my head anymore. Um, when she does her PowerPoints, she literally reads word for word from the book. I can read the book on my own. Your job is to take that information and expand on it and kind of give us some sort of guidelines on what is required and how your exam is going to be and stuff like that. But that's not how she does it. And the instructor that I have for lecture, I also have for lab. It's interesting. Uh, I will be amazed if my family still loves me and I still have friends at the end of this week because it's it's an insane, intense week. But the benefit of it is, I guess, not the benefit, the positive side, positive side. We start our OR rotation. Um, so I will be in the OR for the, this week and next week. So if I can survive, so it'll be something I guess to look forward to at the end of this week. So how has everybody's stitching been? Mine um, is non-existent between work and trying to keep my head above water and still trying to somewhat have family time, which is null and void. I get a day off a week. Um, yeah, one day, that's it. I have one day to do all the laundry, the grocery shopping, uh, a little bit of cleaning, some studying, and then it's just straight from work back into school. Um, but it's it's insane. They say it's worth it in the long run. I just gotta survive. <laughs> Sorry, there was a break in there. I had to go flip laundry. Um, so I have two projects again, um, and then we'll talk from there. But a lot of these projects, honestly, haven't been touched in a couple weeks. So, um, we'll start with my haid. Now, my haid has been sitting. I haven't really touched it. I don't know if I've even touched it at all since last time you saw it. Um, I've been really into my family rules piece uh, when I actually have a couple minutes to work on it. So I'll show you my haid and where my haid stands. Um, this is what it looks like. And then for, if you don't remember, the haid that I'm doing right now is the Hometown Heroes Firefighter Edition. I don't know what it's called. Whatever. I'm sorry, y'all bear with me. But this is what it looks like. So, this right here is about a page and a half. Again, I use the large print for my haids. So, that's where this is. This is all helmet. I love this piece 
but the amount of confetti that goes into it, because like you wouldn't believe the amount of different shades of browns and just grays and the stethoscope and the reds and the hat and stuff like that. Um, I love this piece. I can't wait to have it done. I honestly have, let's see, I have those three stockings that I showed you. I have one more full size hang, and that is, do I only have one more? I think I have one more. One more full size hate, and that one is the small, I don't remember what it's called. Anyways, it's a picture of NASA and like the, the stars and the clouds and stuff like that. Not clouds, it's a galaxy. Um, and I really love that one. I want to start that one. But there's one other one that I want to do as well, and that is the um, retro oh my gosh what's the name of it retro something but if you go on heaven and earth designs it's the one it has a motorcycle and an older car and it's in a garage and you can see all the license plates and stuff like that my husband really wants that one honestly i'm not sure if when i eventually do that piece if it will end up in my house or in the garage um eventually when we're done with nursing school we I'm done with nursing school. We eventually want to fill the house in a couple years and get like a ranch with a pole barn and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if he's going to want to put it out there or in the house, wherever. But that's one I still want to get eventually. I'm not in a hurry because obviously I don't have time to stitch it. Um, okay, so that's my hang. And then the other piece that I've seen, I've actually made some progress on. Like I said, it hasn't been touched in a little bit. It does have a needle in it. So you're going to kind of bear with me. But again, this is stitched on 18 count country mocha. And I bought the fabric from 123 Stitch. It was like $17 or something like that. Again, if you haven't checked her out, check out her videos. She hasn't put any up, so um, <clears throat> Suze, get on it. But <laughs> she charted this for me, and this is where I'm at. Don't mind this. I do usually take the hoop. This is my piece once in a while. If I can take something to work that I'll take to work. And the hoop's just easier to work with than the, the cue snaps at work. So this is what it looks like. Again, it is an 18 count Ada. And it's stitched with uh, sampler threads and cinders. So it says, always tell the truth, work hard, keep your promises, try new things, don't whine. And then as you can see, the next three I've started, it says laugh out loud. And then next time down, always say I love you. And then use kind words. And then do your best goes next to use kind words. So after those three, now the next three lines are done that I've worked, started on. I'll have, let's see, I have it written down. It says, the, underneath that it says be grateful, be kind on one line. Underneath that, be proud of yourself. Then say please and thank you. And then remember you are loved. And then it'll be done. So this is where I'm at with this one. Again, super, it's not ironed. No need. I'm gonna end up actually putting the, the stuff right back on it. I use a hoop for this one, like I said. I take this one to work. Um, so, sorry. I don't wanna end up forgetting about it and then losing my hoop to my kid. She's going to be two next month. So, again, like I said, I don't have a lot of progress, but I'm proud of what I do have. Um, instead of stitching, I get to do homework. Yay. So, my breaks when I don't have a lot of homework, I don't really need to have like a ton of study time. There's always study time, but it's not overwhelming. Um, then I will pick it up and try to do at least a letter or two in this piece because like uh, Katie, the stash queen says, um, any progress is progress. So even two letters at a time, is progress. Um, I'm hoping to have that piece done relatively soon because I have about 
if it stays on track about three months until my fabric gets here for my next piece. Now, if you remember in my video last, um, I was talking about ordering fabric for my vows. Now, Suze, who chartered the Family Rules piece for me, ooh, excuse me, also chartered me. It was an idea I had for my husband on my first wedding anniversary. Now, a little bit of backstory if you haven't been watching. My husband and I have been together for eight years, but this July will be our first wedding anniversary. So, for our anniversary, I didn't really, want to, didn't really know what to do, so I decided I'm going to stitch our wedding vows, frame it, and give it to him. Um, it's going to be an expensive piece, man. Like... I don't even like I don't even want to think about how much it's gonna to be to, to frame this. But the fabric in and of itself, I ordered Lugana. First time I was gonna be stitching, I ordered a 28 count Lugana for this fabric. I'm going to probably stitch it. I'm going to try two over two, but I'm thinking for the coverage that I want, it'll probably be done three over two. Because if you do two over two, it's like a 14 count Ada. So I'm guessing it'll probably be done three over two. Um, and I bought it in Winter Wishes, an opalescent Winter Wishes from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. So, this piece that I ordered, oh my god, I should have wrote it down. Um, well, if you go on Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie, select Lugana, uh, Lugana and then select your size. Go to the largest size that she offers. That's what I bought. A hundred and like ten dollars, not including shipping, for the fabric that I need. <coughs> There's a hundred and ten dollars in my fabric. It's a good thing I got like a, a full size check because I actually was working full time between semesters because I bought it. Last week? Last Friday. Not as in like a couple days ago, like the 20th. I bought it the 20th. It's about a week and a half ago. Um, I am still trying to figure out what flosses I want to use. I don't really want it really variegated, but I want to use something other than DMC. Now, I'm going to be doing it in black, and then I want the words I do, because it's his vows, my vows, and then I do in the middle. I want I do in red, and then I want the rest in black. So I'm looking at um, sampler threads, which I'm also using for my family rules piece, and black licorice for the vows, and then cherry wine for the I do part. Now, here's one thing. If you're watching this video and you've used any of those two colors, can you let me know and comment below how variegated they are or if you have a picture, like insert a picture of what they look like because I can only tell like this much of a picture that they put on one, two, three stitch. So if you could do that for me, if you already have that, that'd be awesome before I buy all this because it's going to be like $50 worth of floss. I don't know, I'm just estimating high. I don't want to start the project and be like, oh crap, I don't have a thread, I gotta wait for it to get here type thing. So that's my stuff. There's my tiny bit of haul. It's not here yet. I'm just brainstorming on the floss and my two projects. So I will try to come up with an update for you guys monthly. I think that's something doable. I just may not have a lot of uh, progress to post to show you guys. So if you do make floss tube videos, link your uh, channel below. I would love to check you out because even though I'm not able to like actively stitch a lot. I do watch floss tube when I'm like making dinner or supposed to be studying. Stuff like that. So if you do make, uh, you, you do have your own channel and you make videos, please link it below. I would love to check you out. Other than that, that's about it for me. Um, I have to get back to laundry and some studying, which by the time I start my studying, the little one will probably wake up, so that's not going to play up until she goes to bed tonight. So, so yeah, that's about all for me. Um, I look forward, thanks for putting up with me uh, and my rambling. My brain is completely in every other which direction right now, <laughs> including of not what it needs to be on. So that's about all for me. Um, so again, 
feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!